seven anti-aging superfoods. Number three is my favorite. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Robert Love. I'm a neuroscientist. I specialize in helping people prevent Alzheimer's disease with science. And eating the right foods is perhaps one of the most powerful tools in not only slowing down aging, but also reducing the risk of Alzheimer's disease. So what to look for in foods that help slow down aging. So you wanna look for foods that reduce inflammation and foods that help uh, build collagen and foods that protect the body from uh, oxidative stress and oxidative damage. So uh, foods that increase collagen, collagen uh, makes your skin, your hair, your nails. So that's really important. Foods high in like vitamin C, vitamin C is important for healthy skin. Vitamin A is important in healthy uh, skin turnover and shedding dead skin cells. So that's really important. And then lastly is you want anti-inflammatory foods because uh, inflammation is one of the primary causes of aging. So if you can reduce inflammation with foods, that's really helpful in slowing down the aging process. Food number one are pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate seeds are high in vitamin C. That's great for the skin. That also protects the body from oxidative stress and damage and can reduce inflammation. Food number two, now you may not like this food, but it's great for you, is Broccoli. Broccoli is high in vitamin C and vitamin K, also calcium. And uh, vitamin C is great for your skin and vitamin K is terrific for your brain. Food number three, this is my favorite, is blueberries. If blueberries are high in vitamin A and vitamin C, both of which are great for your skin. Vitamin A is good for your eyes and, vitamin, and blueberries are rich in antioxidants, which help protect your body uh, from free radical damage. Also, blueberries help reduce inflammation. If you get blueberries, make sure you get them organic because blueberries are often pesticided and the skin's very thin and you don't want to consume those pesticides. I like to get wild blueberries from Costco and I love blueberries because they're they're great in smoothies, they're great in desserts, they're great for a snack, and they're just so gosh darn delicious. Food number four, this one's an interesting one. It is spinach. Why is spinach so good for you? So number one, spinach has vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. All of these are great for your skin and can be really good for aging. It's rich in magnesium, and seven out of 10 Americans are deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is used in over 300 enzymatic processes in your body, it's involved in energy, it's involved in uh, muscles, it's involved in bones, um, it's involved in sleep. So magnesium, very, very important. And then uh, spinach is very hydrating. So dehydration can definitely increase aging and has us look older. Just think of you know some, someone's skin that looks dehydrated. And so spinach can actually help rehydrate us. So that's very cool. Food number five are Almonds, almonds are really great. They are rich in fiber and fiber is not, helps us feel more full so that helps us eat less and that's a good thing for most people. Uh, almonds are also anti-inflammatory. That's really good. They're also high in vitamin E and vitamin E is really good for tissue and skin repair. Number six, this is delicious one. This is avocados. Avocados is jam packed with so many nutrients that are great for your skin, rich in vitamins A, C, E, K. It's got B vitamins, it's got potassium, it's got healthy fats, it's great. Food number seven, I eat a lot of this food. It is wild caught salmon. Make sure you get wild caught, not farm raised. Farm raised can have lice in it and the wild caught is much healthier for you. So why is wild caught salmon so good for you? Well, it's dense in nutrients. It's rich in healthy fats, which are great for your brain. It's also anti-inflammatory. And research from Dr. David Smith at Oxford found that those who eat up, up to a serving of fatty fish a day, that is neuroprotective. That helps reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. And so wild caught salmon is one of my absolute favorites. Also sardines. Sardines are terrific for your brain as well. Bonus are coffee and tea. Now these aren't foods, but I want you to know about these. Coffee and tea are rich in antioxidants and polyphenols. Polyphenols are plant nutrients that are really good for your gut. What's good for your gut is good for your brain. And then the, um, the antioxidants in both coffee and tea are really good for you. They can help uh, protect you from the free radicals that can, uh, they can cause aging. Now, if you do drink coffee, make sure you drink plenty of water because coffee, coffee can be dehydrated. So please enjoy these healthy foods. I love you. God bless you.